Well, here we are, folks. I'm uh, just behind Dragon Cement on Buttermilk Lane. And um, this is kind of a, uh, a, a well, it's a, a tidal marshland that um, uh, Dragon's, uh, all of their water and stuff, all the leachate and everything else, ends up flowing and all the dust and everything that is generated by the plant uh, from the smokestack and everything else ends up coming down this away and um, as you can see there's there's some wildlife here I don't know why my camera's not focusing very well but that looks like it's a great blue heron I may I may be wrong um, but it's really cool looking anyways a lot of wildlife around here and obviously ducks like that mallard right there um, they consume plant life um, and it would uh, stand to reason that the um, contaminants that are contained in clanker dust and cement kiln dust and uh, the overall manufacturing of cement, the burning of tons of coal, fossil fuels, um, and the like, all uh, would have an adverse effect on these creatures, their eggs, and um, probably just about everything else. You could see it's a really foggy day, unfortunately, um, but this area is just it's it's pretty huge there's a lot of lot of vegetation and unfortunately it's pretty dead looking today but uh, the wildlife is is really nice to see and it'd be nice to to see that it that uh, that it doesn't disappear that they're not harmed what a beautiful bird there he goes look at him go something else bye bye hope you're not poisoned anyways there you have it I'm gonna get some more liking because my last video was uh, blotchy when I uploaded it to YouTube and I apologize for that so I'll go get some shots of the xantheria lichen that I took yesterday that didn't come out so good we'll try it again Okay, we're back here. Um, I'm just off Buttermilk Lane, and um, we're looking again at the yellow Xantheria lichen. I'm not quite sure if um, if that's the the whole. I mean, there could be different different varieties of this Xantheria, I suppose. I haven't done the complete research, but as you can see, the majority of it is indeed yellow. There is some that's mixed, um, that's mixed in that may be the greenish gray type, as you can see. Well, right here. Let's see if I can get up a little closer to it without the camera messing up on me again. You can see some of the, there's a little bit that's mixed in here that's more of the like the gray, the gray species right there. And then there's the yellow xantheria that's the highly alkaline, alka, whatever, alkaline um, tolerant species. But it, the trees are just littered with it. I, I've never seen so much. And then, right down here, there's a culvert that goes on the road. Where are we? Look at all this. All this xantheria. That, there's a culvert right over in there that comes under Buttermilk Lane under Route 1, passes by another nasty facility, um, and 
the water just keeps flowing down. I've seen turkeys drinking out of it. Um, back on the railroad tracks, behind Dragon, just parking off the road, I saw a whole flock of turkeys. They were all down in the ditch drinking. That's just frozen over right there. But you can see that there's plenty of water right, right down in there. It's flowing. I can hear it flowing. Um, but then, here's more Xantheria. There it is. Look at that stuff. is something else. Bright yellow. Never seen anything like it. I mean, for five miles, this stuff is nearly five miles. And then it almost just vanishes. And everything's just green. Or grayish green, just like the the sample that I showed you. I mean, there's there's a little bit just mixed in, just mixed in, just a tiny bit. Yeah, the camera doesn't want to focus on it because I'm too close, but you can see some of the some of the greenish greenish gray. Let's see if we could find a tree that has more of it on it. I don't know. That's going to be kind of hard to do. Anyways, there's marshlands all over the place here. And Dragon's uh, leachate is obviously not good for it. Not a good thing. Anyways, I'm going to go look. Uh, we'll take a ride out and I'll, I'll show you the broad leafy um, green species of it. I don't know what the name is. I'm sure we could look it up though. Okay, I'm about, oh, almost five miles, or maybe more. I'm out in, uh, I want to say St. George or near Tenants Harbor, but I don't see any xantheria or yellow xantheria lichen. If there are other species, there's your grayish, greenish type of lichen, and if I kind of just sweep this whole area with the video camera, you can see for yourself that I don't see any yellow xantheria lichen. That's just an old oak tree with its leaves still stuck on it or something. Um, what do we have? See? Here's some more of your typical whoops bad focusing. Typical, I wouldn't be a good TV cameraman would I? Typical lichen that is uh, just about everywhere that you see on trees normally. There's, um, there's a nice sample of it right there. Tree's loaded with the regular stuff that we see all the time. But um, we are somewhat downwind of uh, where Dragon would be. East of Dragon, I might say, to be precise. Um, so there you have it. It's uh, the green stuff that grows on trees and rocks and things and and that's uh, that's what it should look like for the most part um, although it isn't a bad thing that xantheria lichen grows but it is heavily coagulated around dragon cement for like I said a good um, five miles or so around it and really concentrated right around the plant. Anyway, uh, I hope this video comes out better and have a nice day everyone.